I have with me Mr. Raj Singh Rathi, Managing Director, Kuka Robotics. Uh, you supply robotics to the manufacturing industry. Yes, that's right. And we have seen in India, manufacturing sector, there are a lot of talks happening. So you guys are the real indicator. Means if we talk about advanced manufacturing, yeah. we have to see what kind of growth is there in your sector. So uh, in the last few years, how do you see India's manufacturing improving? Do you think you have been able to generate a bigger business or how is the situation? The growth in uh, the robotic automation is happening, but it is happening at a very slow pace in the Indian market over the years. If we look uh, back to something like 10 years, the market was, uh, let's say, nearly nothing in terms of uh, number of robots uh, being used in the Indian market, which has now grown to something like 2,000 robots a year uh, in the Indian market. But this number of 2,000 robots is still too less as compared to the other developing nations uh, who are using robotic automation in their manufacturing. So if, can you compare it with uh, our uh, countries like China, Thailand, Indonesia, where we look at when we talk about manufacturing progress, India looks at China, Indonesia, we have to compete with them. So how is the situation? Yeah, the changes over here is uh, the biggest change as we see is in the Chinese market uh, where the number of robots are being sold to the tune of 35,000 robots a year, which is a big, big difference and compared to that we are only uh, not even 10 but uh, something like 6% of the Chinese uh, robotic uh, consumption. So that is directly, you rightly pointed out, a correlation uh, that we can make it up between the improvement in the manufacturing uh, sector and the use of robots in the industry. So our industry is uh, nowhere even close to that. And uh, sorry to say we are also not seeing any significant changes in the industry or the demand from the industry. So with the new government coming in, a lot of talk about hap happening about make in India. Yeah. So does that change any kind of perception? Or do you think uh, you have got some more orders? Not really. There is. Uh, no change in the business that was happening because of Make in India campaign and uh, so we do not really, what we are not able to. Okay, what is the current size of uh, uh, manufacturing robotics uh, that we use uh, at the plants and what contribution do you uh, have from automotive industry? Currently the automotive industry is something like 60% of the total robotic uh, uh, Installations that are being uh, used by the industry and 40% by the other industry. So the use by the other industry is growing faster than the use by the automotive industry, use of robots uh, or consumption of robots by the automotive industry. Why is, uh, what is, what could be the reason for this? I would say the automotive industry is staying nearly as it was earlier or it is growing at a slower rate than the other markets. Whereas the other markets like foundry and forging or uh, uh, any other market if we consider, they are growing at a faster rate. Okay. So you told me while we were discussing off, uh, offline, you told us that uh, countries like uh, Thailand and yeah. all, uh, there the automotive in industry is uh, buying more and more robotics and uh, more expansion happening. Why? What could be the reason? And India, India is equally, you know, competent to manufacturing hub. So why this difference we are looking at? We feel the difference is coming from the government policies that are uh, responsible for this growth that what Thailand is experiencing. And as you rightly also mentioned about Indonesia, Indonesia was nowhere in the picture in the manufacturing sector, but it is coming up very very fast in the recent. Uh, if we look back few years, let's say two or three years. So there is a big market for uh, automated production in Indonesia as well. Of course, Thailand is ahead of India in uh, this way. Who is your major customer in India? In India, our major customers, if you consider the automotive uh, sector, uh, the biggest user is Tata Motors. Then we have uh, Volkswagen, uh, Daimler, Ashok Leyland, Volvo Aisher. So uh, if you wish uh, talk about your order book. What kind of orders you have? Because that will uh, give indication of how many new plants are going to come up. 
So if you compare with the last year's order this year, do you see any kind of improvement? In fact, interestingly, this year we see uh, orders of lower per order value or volume than the previous year. So if we average out the number of uh, robots per order, it is decreasing, not really increasing. So uh, does that mean, uh, mean that uh, people are going for more of a manual work or is that mean ki uh, there is no expansion happening? What, how does it translate it? Okay, we relate it uh, with the industry. So now more and more uh, single robot users are coming up in the market. So a small company who was not using a robotic earlier, a robotic solution earlier, is using a robotic solution now. That's a very so, good sign. Yes, that's a very good sign. So we see a, an upward uh, trend uh, in these kind of uh, companies or users of robots. Okay. So uh, your major customers yeah. were OEMs. Now yeah. they are going uh, down to the component manufacturer. Yes. Tier one suppliers. Maybe? Yes, that's right. So Tier one suppliers and. Uh, uh, going even to the service uh, industry or service uh, segment, if you say in that uh, way. So, which are the in automotive industry? Which are the manufacturers? Which are the segments where you can uh, provide help, basically, and what kind of help your robotics can help? Provide? Okay, we are uh, able to provide robotic solutions in automotive supplier segment. If you consider, we have uh, metal manufacturer, metal fabrication, or many, uh, any any company who is doing uh, something to do with metal wherein we have solutions for spot welding and arc welding primarily. These are the two biggest uh, applications if we consider for the Indian market. And then a little bit of uh, it is also going to the plastics, but it, the, the volume in plastic is uh, very less. Very, very less yes. Okay, so suppose a uh, 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 component manufacturer using his traditional methods of manufacturing and welding yeah. and uh, somebody is using uh, a robotics yeah. so what kind of advantage it can give you know in terms of efficiency output and accuracy yes we are getting uh, consistent same high quality output as we see from the first piece to the last or hundredth or thousandth uh, piece that we are manufacturing using a robotic uh, solution apart from that we can also see uh, because of this consistent quality uh, output we are able to predict and plan our uh, product production for the industry and then it can be really uh, broken down to a very minute level to the tune that how many pieces per day or per month a company can supply uh, by having a robotic solution. So uh, can you share with us some success story, the small manufacturer who used, uh, without taking name of the yeah. company, they used your uh, uh, auto. Uh, automation or uh, robotics yeah. and yeah. they improve their uh, uh, efficiency and yes. all. A so uh, very interesting example uh, as I recall from some years ago, a manufacturer of uh, a light uh, mass the, uh, on the highway as you see them and where you see, uh, where you see an opening on the side of these poles. Earlier that company was manufacturing these poles and was uh, cutting this uh, piece for making a small door on the side of this mast and throwing this away and building up a new piece from this uh, um, another uh, sheet metal and then using it as a door because uh, they were not able to cut it so precisely. So after we delivered them our robotic solution, this company is now or they immediately started uh, utilizing the same piece that they were cutting from the big pole and using it as a door by just simply by placing a, a rubber seal. So this was a uh, surprising uh, change for that company that uh, they had simplified their production or uh, reduced their uh, wastage of uh, their uh, raw material and they were able to improve on uh, this on one side if we uh, let's say talk about the metal segment. How do you see uh, uh, this uh, automation level increasing in Indian automotive manufacturing uh, sector? Automotive, uh, I feel our industry is, uh, instead of going uh, higher volume per model uh, to a direction that they are having lesser volumes per model. So this means if you are having lesser number of uh, cars be produced for a particular model, the amount of automation, in a way it increases because of the complexity, but it also decreases because the volumes are decreasing. So they are not in need of uh, so much of higher uh, productivity uh, solutions. 
So uh, currently, robotics generally has a very high-end uh, yeah. solutions. So, are you planning to, you know, uh, provide some India-specific solutions? In fact, that would be interestingly, uh, every robotic solution is a unique solution in itself. If we look at it in general, but on the other hand side, it is not really necessary. Our Indian uh, power supply conditions are good enough for uh, using a European uh, robot. So it is uh, fine then, it is not necessary at this moment. So currently you import all your robots from, from Germany. Germany. Do yeah. you plan to get into localization anytime soon? In fact, if, again, uh, we would be happy as Indians that if we are able to make something in India and not only use that in India but also export those components uh, to other countries. But uh, the, uh, the requirement from the Indian market, it has to grow first that the company is uh, thinking in this direction. So in terms of revenue, how KUKA Robotics has been doing? And what is your next uh, 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 expansion plan for India? Or how do you look at? In fact, we have been growing uh, with the market uh, demands. And uh, when we started the company, our first setup uh, was uh, by setting up a service center and a training facility. So we invested into that in Pune in 2006. So that was our uh, initial uh, setup, and uh, so whenever there is any requirement or demand from the market, it could be coming up in a new, maybe tomorrow a new region is coming up in uh, some part of India where there are no facilities, and if we need to set up uh, more training and service facilities, we will do so. Is there a crucial manufacturing process in automotive industry when your application has helped, your product has helped? Uh, that was very crucial and you have been able to solve I think that. There are a lot of... Uh, Any specific that you can... If you talk about uh, automotive, uh, a very interesting application is the testing of seeds. So automotive research, uh, yeah. ARAI, they have uh, one of our robots which is used for testing the seeds. So that's a very interesting application that they are uh, using, I feel, that they are able to test the seed uh, durability of the seed uh, by using a robot, which in general, if you think about how do how do uh, the car manufacturers make sure that the seat that we are using in a car is stays intact or is it stays in the shape uh, for ten years or uh, more? So, uh, according to you, you were just mentioning that everyone sh cannot, you know, have these robotics because of the acquisition cost and all. So, uh, who do you suggest really that they can, a uh, company of SMEs type or which, who are the people, who, what kind of manufacturer should go for automation in automotive industry? I feel every manufacturer can go for the robotic automation and it is not difficult uh, and it is not so expensive as it uh, looks like. Uh, the challenge that we are facing is in terms of the input uh, or the raw material that they are getting, the industry is getting. So let us imagine a small workshop, they are uh, producing a small component by welding and then delivering it or supplying it to a tier 1 supplier, if you talk about a tier 2 supplier for example. So this tier 2 supplier is not getting the consistency in the raw material that they are buying from the market or from their own supplier, for so example if it is cut by manual machines and then they are delivered. So that remains idle for a long time. That's so this is the reason that even if they install a robotic solution, they will still have to struggle uh, because of the inconsistency in the raw material that they are getting or uh, semi-processed material that they are getting from their own suppliers. So this is the biggest challenge uh, followed by the next challenge is on the, uh, uh, the awareness level that we have uh, noticed. Every small company that we have interacted with or most of them, they, they were always thinking the robot should be able to deliver or will be able to deliver uh, and work on its own without even interfering into its operation, but this is not the case. A robot will do what it is programmed for, but someone has to understand the process and then program and tell the robot uh, that this is what you have to do. And if there is a change in any of the parameters, then they have to adjust some of the parameters to make sure that the robot is working in that uh, situation in the expected uh, way. So what would be the reason for such a, a you know, uh, less use of robotics at manufacturing places in India uh, uh, if we compare with other emerging market. Volume of the product, 
robotic solution is best suited when uh, we have a very high volume, consistent volume of the same product. And the second uh, possibility is when the uh, difficult uh, to do or uh, tasks that are Complex hazardous process. or uh, difficult to handle for the human beings. So in these two areas, so the volumes are not so high in uh, this case. The biggest reason that we have experienced. So whichever industry we are going, they are always getting smaller orders or smaller lot of orders without any commitment for the future. So if they do not have a commitment, it is difficult for them to invest into a robotic solution. Thank you so much, Mr. Shati, for giving us time. Thank you very much. My pleasure.